Hey guys, this is Constantine, a thrifty backpacker, and right now I am in Hanoi, Vietnam. And I'm checking in Buffalo Hostel. Buffalo fucking ass! Which is in the center of Hanoi. And um, the street is uh, pretty Vietnamese. Um, and um, you can see that this building, this building is pretty modern comparing to some other buildings. So let's see what's happening inside. So it's 1.30 and I was able to check in pretty, pretty fast. Even though there was one weird thing, uh, which is kind of crazy. Um, they were like, oh, uh, do you want us to keep your passport um, while you're staying in the hostel? I was like, hell no. And they just uh, got a copy of my passport, which is very strange because I could be this, you know, inexperienced traveler and be like, okay, yeah, just keep my passport. What the hell is that? But it was nice because I was given this cards, like both cards. One card is for my room, another one is for the locker. So there is no need for a padlock, which is great. They also provide provided me with um, free breakfast, which unfortunately I won't be able to use because tomorrow I'm flying flying off very early. But yeah, it's every day it's free breakfast. And moreover, they also provide um, a free beer voucher. And as far as I understand, it's every evening from 7 till 8. I can imagine what kind of flying will be there. Unfortunately, unfortunately I don't drink beer anymore. So. But anyway, maybe I'll give it a try at least, just one pint. Uh, the lobby is uh, already pretty Christmassy. You know, this Christmas tree really creates this Christmas vibe. Okay, so we go up and check the room. I'm staying on the fifth floor. And for me, it's never a problem because I'm a thrifty backpacker. This is all the stuff that I have. This is all my luggage. Well, also this small bag. So yeah, that's it. For people who travel with the luggage, it could be a problem going upstairs. So here they have this fancy elevator with mirrors, yeah. And uh, we gotta go to the fifth floor. And here we go. Here's our room. And here's the room. Okay, so it's a nice room with the windows and the beds look pretty comfortable. And the look, there's shelves. So you can put your stuff on shelves while you're sleeping. It's great. Also, look at this big um, lockers. Very convenient. And I think we might have a bathroom. Yeah, exactly. There's a bathroom here in our room, which is super convenient. All right. So everything seems to be at the right spot. And uh, finally, I'm at the bottom bed again. Good luck. No padlock anymore. Here we go. As you can see, there are curtains so you can hide yourself. And uh, the AC, which we don't need tonight apparently, but for some hot days, it's definitely useful. People really keep their shoes outside the room. Well, I would never do that, especially after I got my flip flop stolen in Japan. Okay, so I'm downstairs again. There is this luggage room where people store stuff. I don't know if somebody checks. Uh, okay, so there's this common area where you hang out with people, order something to eat or to drink, watch some soccer games, or enjoy the paintings, and just socialize with people. Um, check it out, there's a swimming pool also. I don't think it's perfect time for swimming, so I'm not gonna try that. But I'm sure that during summertime, it must be amazing. And there's easy access to rooms uh, from 200 till 406, which is not me because I'm staying on the fifth floor. Hell yeah. Uh, there don't seem to be a lot of people to socialize with right now, but I think during, um, during happy hour time, there's gonna be a lot of people craving for free beer. I'll be there too. Okay, I gotta check what the bar can offer. Hi there. <laughs> okay, so they have a lot of items here in the hostel, so which is great because you can just eat here straight away. I don't think they have fobo though, but I mean there are plenty of places here we can 
eat Vietnamese soup. And what I like is that the price for cocktails is pretty good. So I just figured I think it's about like three dollars for a cocktail. So I think it would be a good option. And there is black Russian. Oh yeah, there's white Russian. Hell yeah. Another Caucasian, Gary. Right, dude. Got me some beer, free beer, and look at this teapot. How they put some beer, it's just amazing. But there is no foam, so it's very, very smart. Yeah, nobody's swimming, no fun, except for this guy. Probably that's why you nobody's do swimming. Vlog? Yeah, kinda. Kind of vlog? Yeah. So despite the fact that I don't drink beer anymore, since the stuff is free, I'm gonna go for another one. Here we go. I love this teapot. Well, there isn't much gas there, so I think I'm gonna be good. Plus, I deserve that. I deserve that because I had just finished working out. Thank you. And uh, I can get another beer, right? It's just gonna wrap up with the hostel. It's 4 a.m. right now, and I'm going to the airport to fly to Saigon, to Ho Chi Minh. And I'd say that this hostel is pretty good. It's definitely worth visiting, at least because of the happy hour, <laughs> as always. But. Well, I'd, I'd say that it's pretty good value for money to hang out, talk to people. And I've met a lot of interesting people, including some people in my room and also at the bar. So yeah, um, I think that during the summertime, the swimming pool is also super nice. So this is pretty much it. So thank you guys very much. Just uh, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you more with more hostels with good value and hotels as well and at the English speaking club that run every Saturday 6.30 Moscow time. The link is in the description, okay? See you guys later, bye.